Okay, this video is a, a quick response to a few people on Anime Studio forums and on the Facebook group have asked uh, about my Batman body turn. Can you rig the character also to move? And the answer is yes. Um, it's It can be pretty complicated because you need to use smart, bone, um, smart bones to do that. But I'm going to use uh, uh, this character. His name's uh, Pill, uh, Pillbody Jr. And Jasim Thompson... Um, made this character and he, he was one of the people that asked can I make a body turn and have my character still rigged so I'm gonna start off with his character and this is his actual model sheet that he um, put posted on the Facebook forum or f Facebook group and I just took his character and I went ahead and made it an anime studio um, and I made his limbs out of strokes so these are actually just regular strokes I have my hands from my character rigged on here and my mouth but you can see you can animate this character um, facing forward completely he's got arms and legs and now we need to just add a body turn so with the bone layer selected I'm gonna go to frame 0 hit A and add new uh, a new bone make sure you don't have any of the bones selected here on the character so I'm gonna hit B and just click on the canvas and we'll create a new one. We'll call it uh, body turn. And I'm going to hit B and I'm just going to highlight it and show the label so you know that it's the body turn. I'm also going to turn it to the right just because of my personal preference. And we can start making the turn. Um, just like in the Batman tutorial, his eyes and his mouth are masked out. You can see the body has a plus sign, then the mouths, and... Oh, the eyes aren't. No, I don't want to mask the eyes out. Just the mouth. So, um, with the body turn, bones uh, created, we're going to go to Window, Actions, and then Create New, and we'll just call this Body Turn. Oops. Body Turn. Make sure you name it exactly what the bone is. And it should turn blue like this. So we'll make a three quarters turn and we'll go to frame 12 and then make sure you turn the bo uh, the bone. I'm, I'm holding shift down so it turns to a 45 degree angle. And with our character rigged, I'm going to select um, his uh, the bones of his arms and legs and I'll just hit T and I'm just going to move this over to about there. I'm going to move the arm which is going to actually be behind the body right about there and then move the legs in just a little bit but we also need to um, double click in the um, character layer and go into depth sort and make sure enable animated layer order is on and hit apply the reason we need to do that is um, if I go to frame one of our body turn um, now I can make the uh, left leg go under the body where is it? Left leg. Oops. It's popped up top. So right there. So now see it's hidden. It's going behind the body. And the same thing with the left arm. Behind the body. And also the left hand is going to go behind the body. So now it's turning over that way. So as he turns, it, it becomes hidden. Uh, those become hidden. So we'll go to frame 12. We're going to move the mouth. The mouth is a switch layer. So I'm just going to use the tr uh, transform layer tool and just turn or move his mouth over about to there. And we'll grab the right eye and select all and move all of those over. Uh, why is that? I don't know why the point of origin is so far off. Grab that, move this eye over, and then the left eye will do the same thing. Um, move that over to there. I'm going to squish it a little bit, just like like that. Just a little bit. Move his eye, maybe even more. Like there. And then go back to the bone and maybe turn like that. And then, oh, let's turn his foot. So he's looking like he's three-quarter view. And that looks pretty good. So then we'll go to frame 24, 
and don't forget to turn the uh, the bone again so we're gonna I'm holding shift and it's gonna go straight up now then we'll go to since the bone layer is selected move that to the dead center because we're um, turning them all the way to the side and of course both of the feet will be in the center again this is why I use this character because he's really easy to animate and you can see the anatomy since he's a pill his body is gonna look the same even if it's turned so we'll move the mouth transform layer tool and this time since he's facing all the way to the side I'm gonna drag it off his body and since it's mask it's cutting it off which is what we want and then I'll change, use the left eye and um, well let's do the right eye first the right eye is gonna come all the way up to here and then the uh, left eye is actually gonna move back a little bit but it's also gonna be hidden so we're gonna go right to here and then on frame 13 let's go ahead and move the left eye behind the body just like that so as we continue to turn the eye will go over to there and let's go ahead and on this right eye squish it a little bit also and then I'm going to select the pupil and these the two highlights and move these um, to the uh, left side and squish those again just so it looks like he's looking um, to the left like that okay like that and that's that's pretty much it this is the same basic principle that you'd have to do for Batman you'd have to do a lot more tweaking than this obviously but that's the basic concept um, because if I go into the main timeline now I can animate my character oops just as I normally would he's got bones he can dance he can do all this jazz and if I grab the body turn and turn it now he's facing three-fourths view hands ready to go he can still move completely body still rigged if I turn it even more he's facing the side oops you know I didn't move this uh, arm all the way back so let's go in the body turn Go to frame 24 and then move his arm to the center also because that's where it would be. Main timeline. And there you go. Body turn. You could do. Uh, I could fix this eye. It, it does need. It's not quite right. It disappears too soon. <laughs> he looks a little weird right there. But you still get the main idea of how this works. I can I can put him in any position that I want, and he's still going to uh, be able. To, you still be able to move him. Yay! And you can still turn him while he's <laughs> in some other position. And that's how you would uh, have your character do a body turn and have it rigged at the same time. So if you have any questions or comments, just uh, let me know. Um, again, this is just a really quick uh, video response. And uh, that's it. Thanks.